Hi, I'm Sean Sharp. Um, I've recently started doing the train restoration. Um, it's something that I've always liked, obviously trainers, and um, had a passion for. Uh, I left my job and then uh, was bored, so I started cleaning trainers for friends and got good at it, so I thought I'd make a business out of it. Um, I'm currently in a shop in Gosforth, which is my uncle's barber shop, which I use the back room for. Um, it's a little space which is fine for doing trainer restoration. People can come in and drop them off and pick them up from there. Um, I do deep cleans to re dyes on all trainers. I also do women's trainers, shoes, you name it, I can do it. Um, I've been operating for about a year at the minute. Um, things are starting to pick up. Obviously, trying to get the name out there is quite hard because people don't really understand that you can get your trainers cleaned. A lot of people just bin them, but people having such big trainer collections and trainers you can't actually get any more. So the best way to do to keep them is uh, clean them up again, which is what I do now. Uh, I currently do about 30 to 40 pairs a week, which is getting there. It normally takes about two or three days, depending on drying times and what actually needs doing with them. Um, I'm still learning, but I'm still getting there. I collect trainers um, to wear, is the main thing. I have got trainers which I have still tagged, pair uh, there, which are the Dublins, but I will be wearing them on this year. Uh, I don't believe in storing trainers up and not actually get, letting people see them. I don't see them keeping them in the box, I don't see them what the point is. That's my personal view. I know people double buy, but I buy to wear. I have my collection roughly, I would say about 50 to 55 pairs. Um, I haven't been bought by any recently because I've missed out on a few, which I've quite good about, but uh, I will start trying it. I haven't been camping out like I used to, but it's too busy now, but I've missed a few pairs, but I will be collecting some more, hopefully. A few years ago, well, last year I used to go to um, to the Metal Centre, 6 o'clock in the morning or 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, not camping out, but doing the early morning stint, trying to get in the queue. Uh, with size do it's quite hard because uh, they put a list of trainers up and the size and how many they've got. So when you're in the queue you've got to right, what size trainers in, what size trainers in, and have to try and see if you're going to get your size or not. But you don't always buy them because you're going to probably swap them with someone else via Facebook, which I'm on a few of the uh, Adidas trainer sites, which you can swap the trainers with. I normally pay between 80 to 100 pounds. The most I've paid it's 195 I think. That's a pair of Prada shoes, but Adidas collection are normally between 18 and 100 pounds. And the Manchester's, which I like, they sold out in um, England straight away when they got released. So I buy them from Spain, I think they were 130 pounds I paid. But they should have been 95, so it wasn't too bad because they were come from Spain. My um, chain of choice is obviously Adidas by looking at what I've got here. Uh, I tend to go for the coloured ones so I can sort of match them what I'm wearing. So I've got a blue jacket, I'll wear a pair of blue jeans, uh, blue blue trainers. Um, but mostly the sort of casual style trainers which I go for. Just their uh, Adidas and a CP collaboration with. Quite nice pair. There is a lot of names for trainers, uh, I sneakers and that. Uh, identical trainers, mini trainers. Um, I know American wise sneaker is the, is the main word and it's only really in England that you use trainers a lot of people don't know what trainers are in, or you know, not in England you tend to find a lot of people or young lads who've got a bit of money who are trying to make money which is not really you know, by buying and selling trainers they buy them cheap from the shop and trying to sell them on eBay not double the money I don't see that I don't see why you should do that he's ripping the normal person off and I think if you're a working man, you should be able to buy the trainers that you want. And I think they do devalue the trainers well now. They think they're re-releasing trainers. So they devalue. And if you've got a big collection where you paid a lot of money for some trainers, and you have to re-release them, you're going to devalue your trainers as well. I haven't had any, um, been to any conventions as such. I've been to Sneaker ER in Glasgow, which they've got a coffee shop, which who are one of my main suppliers, who I get my products from, which is like the Sneaker ER Laundry. Um, they've got a coffee shop and a little cool shop. Sells uh, they've got like a record player in the corner. Sells clothes and you can get your trainers clean like there as well. That's something I want to aim to. Open my own shop with a, a nice little cool coffee shop. Though. 
So I'm going to be on meeting people who come and like talk about trainers now. I think there's a space in Newcastle where there's a market for it for some amount of time if I can try and look for somewhere. My obsession with trainers, my girlfriend's sort of, as long as I wear them, I don't think she minds too much. Um, I've just been talking to my mother when I bring me collection of trainers down. She's like, well, I know where you get it from now because I've got shoes. She's just had three pairs of shoes delivered this morning, so she's in the same sort of collection of shoes, but I'm, I'm a trainer, so I think I definitely get it from my mother, the collection side. I got into trainers, well, basically, well, going to football matches and the sort of the casual scene sort of sort of comes hand in hand. You go to a trainer, you want the football, you have a nice pair of trainers on. And then, same as wearing clothes, right? You wear the nice clothes, and it leads from there, and you see other people wearing trainers, I like them, I wouldn't mind a pair of them, then you. It broadens your mind, it broadens your, what you what you want and what you, you desire to get somewhere else. I think the wildest thing to, I've done to get a pair of trainers probably, it was, la, it was not last Christmas, Christmas before, it was a pair of um, um, Amsterdam's come out and it was snowing and I left the house at 4 4 in the morning to go to, to the metal something in the snow, <laughs> put my <me> boots on, <laughs> trailed through the snow, I got the taxi, this taxi didn't know where to stop outside the metal something because it was obviously shut. And they're trying to get past the security. I see that you worked at the metro centre just to get in front of the queue because you're not allowed in there at four, four, number five in the morning. So dodging security guards to see you work there, <laughs> they don't queue up in the freezing cold. Well, it wasn't freezing cold by the time we got there, but that's probably one of the mildest ones. I've got all these trainers. I think it's been worth it because I've started a business through it. So if I didn't have to try the trainers, I wouldn't have done this business, and I've, I've really enjoyed what I do. Uh, seeing people's faces when you bring a pair of trainers back to life, like they thought were well, about to go in the bin. It's, it's sort of it's worthwhile doing. So if I didn't have the love of trainers, I wouldn't have stopped my business, and then wouldn't have made other people happy by cleaning their trainers as well. So it's an ongoing process, really. I think so. I can also do dyes, which these were pair I was going to hold in um, last year. They were grey born pair trainers, um, so I wanted to. I was just starting the business at the time, so I wanted a, a, a flamboyant pair of trainers. Well, some people in the watch are, I haven't seen them before, to get noticed really, so that I could talk about it and then let people know. So I thought the louder the trainers, the more people are going to see it and then I could talk about it more. That's suppose my idea. Obviously, with the red laces, no, they don't go, but it just sort of it makes it um, stand out. Um, and that was my reasons why. So I started doing dyes. Um, Basically, just bringing trainers back. If it got stains, you can dye the, the dye goes over them, so you can rewear them. My favourite ones are the Manchester's, um, just because I like the colour. It's not, a, it's very light blue, but with a red on. Very much like these. The Manchester's M or N. Um, nice, come to pair trainers again. Um, more for winter. When it rains in Newcastle, which it does a lot, you can not mess any good trainers up. And then the Dublins, which I'll be wearing this summer, um, haven't been worn yet, but nice, comfortable head trainers for going to hold with. And you've got the Brussels ones, which are released at the start of the year. Just some winter trainers, but when it rains, you can go to the matches and not here too. Dirty. They've got a bit of bright colour to it as well. And I've got a pair of Pradas there, which I've had about six or seven years. They're still in quite good, good condition for that, but they were quite expensive. But they last, so and they're good smart shoes if you're going out for a meal with your girlfriend or something. So.